Welcome back. I hope you have been enjoying the new World of Warcraft expansion, Dragonflight. I think it's been out now for almost a week, maybe more. And I've been working on my main character to get it to max level. And it's been uh, quite enjoyable actually. I've been enjoying this expansion at least the leveling experience so far but I've been delaying making some videos um, this month maybe because there's a lot of stress around Christmas but also because I caught an eye infection I have not been able to see for the last couple of days uh, it's just on one of my eyes but I am not allowed to wear makeup for the rest of the year and I had planned to make some roleplay videos but hey, that will be for the next year you know, sometimes life comes in the way that happens but let's walk through the capital city of the Dragonflight expansion of Valdrak Valdrak, Valdrak. Valdrak is the name of the capital city and it's a really big one. I can't remember last time they made a capital city at this scale actually. So we're out at the entrance. If you just turn around, you have to climb a large mountain to get up. And you at the entrance can see the banners with a lot of details. Here are some bejeweled shards to represent the different dragon flights. The ruby, also known as the red, obsidian, black, azure, blue, bronze, and emerald, the green dragon flight. The bronze dragon flight is also known as the timeless dragon flight. I think they have been really upping their game here at this expansion. There is so many NPCs that you wa just walks around cleaning and doing their own stuff. But this is just when you're getting in, you can already see a lot of houses, NPCs, decorations, all of that. We're gonna look at the map for a second. Just make it big. Here we can see Valdrak. So this little path is the entrance. First we see the sapphire enclave. And up here in the red is the ruby enclave. Then you walk past to the obsidian enclave. The artisans market. Little skates daycare. Cascades Edge, the Emerald Enclave, and the Bronze Enclave, and in the middle we have the Seat of the Aspects. I guess the Seat of the Aspects that we're gonna go and see reminds me of the top tower in... Uh, what is it now named? Dragonblight, right? <laughs> in uh, the Wrath of the Lich King of the tower and I actually thought you can see all of these little hexagon shapes I thought they were buildings since they're almost at the center of the text about the enclaves but there are just towers you can't walk into so we're gonna look at the little houses and make our way around see if we can find anything interesting side at the interface but I thought if we go this way down we're at the sapphire enclave but I thought why not start at the ruby enclave I think that will be the easiest way to um, just get around this huge place it has so many buildings I don't think I've even been into every single one of them 
it's just a lot of you know details for the players here we can see some kind of an inn maybe we have some cups of tea some potions a teapot herbs here we can see a little this one you make for um, reservations I, I think it is for your seats what really blows my mind in this expansion is how many details they actually made in the main city hub a roast but what I really miss and I don't know if there is any right now I have not been playing that much right now this character at max level I've been trying to level some other characters up but I would really enjoy if they made like in Legion with Dalaran the mail room and some secret quests in the capital. Oh, here's some uh, NPCs looking at the different herbalism flowers. Been doing a lot of herbalism on this character, is farming some gold, and I made a lot, so that's quite nice. I think I will be able to pay for some game time with gold for a couple of months, so that's nice. He's saving money now during the winter. I had a really good experience leveling this game. Oh, here we can see when we get to the ruby enclave, the trees, the flowers, the details, they get a ruby red tint and use the aesthetic here we can see some of the dragon NPCs having a chat, reading some books I wonder what they are reading As you can see it's just really beautiful this city there's a lot of life I was thinking about leaving the ambience on but if you haven't noticed at least I have when you leave the when you turn everything off except the ambience you can hear this really annoying bird making a lot a lot of noise and it's loud it, it's quite sensitive to sounds it's bugging me a lot i just wish i could mute that bird in the ambience oh, here's a little dragon youngster with a hat from herbalism maybe there's a lot of cosmetics you can make now with uh, tailoring in the game and i think that's very nice here we can just look out over the edge the scale of this expansion is amazing it feels very nice to have so much to explore especially after uh, Shadowlands but the dra dragon flight is all about life so you can see a lot of people being into herbalism here or the NPCs I would say Here's a great feast room. We have some music, some dancing, a lot of food. Let's see, what is it? Maybe some bow and some steak. This looks like a dragon fruit, maybe. That would be suiting. And a big broth. I would not dare to taste this soup. And the dragons just looks really good. I have not yet uh, gained all the appearances for the uh, dragon flying dragons, you know, the mounds. So I don't think I can make it look this good yet. And here we have some wine, some grapes, a lobster. 
just has some... I, I think I was right, yeah? That's a dragon fruit, maybe? Cut up, some cheese. It's just so nice, all of the details and the sun. This is a really beautiful setting right there. You can see the fountain. It's a really peaceful zone to be in. Uh, this capital. I really enjoy the size of it. Let's walk over the bridge through the entrance we came from. This is right outside or maybe connected to the uh, sapphire enclave or the blue dragonflight's hut. You can see some bookshelves. Oh, here's a book. Maybe we should go here and do some reading sometime. This might be some lore. Or again, now I'm dreaming, you know, the caring tour pet you could get from Wrath of the Lich King while opening all the rare spawn books in Dalaran. That, that would be nice. This gathering is for this NPC. I guess he has lifted up some candles. Just feels so so full of life. I wish they would patch the old capital so it feel a little bit more like this. This is a nice room. This might be some herbalism trainers, or not trainers, but connected to a quest. You can see this little whelping here with a witch's hat. It's really cute. The floating night elf. Brewing some tea with herbs. Here we can see a banner and some paintings. Here is of Talaran. But I can't tell what the other two are. Maybe that's not very cool of me not to recognize it. But anyways, that happens. Dragons look so majestic. I really like how they have updated the dragon models to look this good in game. Let's walk down. Or maybe run down right now. So we have been looking at these places. And let's just take this house before walking away. This is just a little hut. I think you can see a chair with a book. More books. Is this maybe a plate of gold? Yeah. For a second I thought it was cucumbers and I even wear my glasses right now. I, I have no clue what I was thinking there. But just look at this big bed. This makes me really wish that we would get player housing even though they tried making it back in uh, Warlords of Draenor with the uh, uh, garrisons but that never became what it was supposed to be maybe oh look at this here is a big cauldron of something boiling some spell maybe some spell of decay. You can see a lot of very some smoking glowing embers. Some enchanted books. And I really have to say this enchanted book animation looks really, really, really good. It looks so nice. Some jar of some animal horrendous maybe we have some enchanted books flowing I use this this lantern with light I really enjoy that animation it looks so nice there's a lot of really nice details that they put down I wonder how much time and how many people worked on a single room. 
for a single little laugh. As we're gonna start walking down, we might see some other players. Just look at all the details, the well blings. It really feels like a that it's full of life. Here we can see here's another little room. We're gonna try getting into everything. We have some vendors, some orcs having a chat, a human also maybe. All of the books. Just the details are so nice. Here we can see some crystal trees. It's very fitting for the blue dragon flight. And here's a pretty big library. You can see that glowing um, animation because I have some quest here that I can't care about doing. Just the sight of this makes me so happy. I, it feels like they really worked on the environment and the coziness of this expansion. There is a lot to look at. These huge rooms. I just really hope they will make some more side quests and hidden items, hidden mounts, clues and all of that. Here is some enchanted well maybe. magic powers some more enchanted brooms this is such a beautiful place here we can see some pandaren NPC just reading have floating books these flowers it's a beautiful scenery I don't think I will get tired of this capital for quite some time. We'll watch what we can see here up first. Here's some dragons having a cup of tea. He's chatting. You can see. It's really nice. Really peaceful. So much stuff, and maybe, maybe it's not the right for it. But clutter. There's a lot of stuff to look at. Even though they might have reused the same assets for some rooms, but it really brings out the the feeling of a living city. You can see this is just one enclave. The size of it. Um, as you might have guessed, the blue dragonfly here in the sapphire enclave, or was it azure enclave? Or the dragonfly that handles all of the magic on Azeroth. That's why all the purple and blue magical enchanted items. Let's just look at the map. If we continue down, we will be outside the seat of the aspect. And if we go around this way, we'll come on the back side of the obsidian enclave. So maybe we will go this way to the little scale staycare and then up and around. It's so big, it's so vast. It's easy to get lost, at least for me. That's why it's nice that we have the dragon flying in the game right now. Here are some dragon horses. They look really nice with armor. Here's a blue one, red one, bronze one, and a black one. No green one, I wonder. If these are gonna be mounts you can get for some for some place. I think this is a part, as you can see, the 
bronze details and the black interior with the black scales. This might be a part of the obsidian enclave. Let's see what's inside. details of the roof, the gold etching, and almost the black dragon scales look. And here we can see dust coming down through the light. This is actually amazing, just how they did that. That special little detail makes it all look so nice. Oh, here we can see some treasure chests. The obsidian dragonfly or the black dragonfly were in charge of the earth. Um, there is not a lot of black dragons left since Deathwing or Neltharion got corrupted by the old gods. This might be some inn or just vendor of some sort. You can see some beds, a pair of scissors, some powder. This is so nice. Just look at all the treasures. It's a lot of lore that actually gets uh, connected in this game. Here is the NPC that you can get some quest from and get some items done in. It's the Titan Researcher, right? Researching the Titan relics. You can see a lot of items on the shelves. Some books, the ducklings from this expansion, some boxes. I can't recognize a lot of reused assets from earlier games, and I think that's good actually. I, I um, have not seen a lot of reused items. Here we can see some guy that is painting the sky, looking through the, the big looking glass. Here is also some library-ish, we can see an hourglass, more banners, the lanterns, scrolls, a lot of guards. Now we're at the back side of the obsidian enclave. Uh, that's the smallest enclave since there's not a lot of black dragons left, according to the lore. Here's the. what was it called? The little something daycare. I guess this is the place where we go for pet battles and companions. Here we can see the bigger painting of Dalaran. This place I can't even recognize. Oh yes, look. He's wearing a little hat. They're having a playtime. In the sandbox. Oh, that's so cute. Sitting on a swing. With all the whelplings. You know I'm a sucker for cute things. Some fountains, some books. Some whelplings playing around, that's really nice. I love little stuff like this, it makes it worth to look at for such a long time. Here we can see the daycare and the head items. The blue plushy alec and the plushy raptor. Some of the robot pets, the ducklings. The little boats and ships. Here's the Tuscar ship. Uh, these are from. I think these were some item replica from Battle for Azeroth. I might be wrong. Some books, some whelplings. I really enjoy how the whelplings look. I wonder if they have re reskinned the old whelpling pets you could get from way back in Classic, I think. Maybe I should look that up. Just a really wonderful place 
just cap it off. There's not a lot of stuff going on. Let's go back up. So if we look at the map, we're on the way back over the bridge. And we have been on the back side of the obsidian enclave. And we will look up here. And then continue towards the open spaces outside the seat of the aspect. And then maybe down to the artisan's mark. And going through the Cascades Edge, the Emerald Enclave, and the Bronze Enclave. And finally we, we will get up to the Seat of the Aspects. I think that will be a nice end. It's a very large space. But it's so beautiful. Did we watch this little house? Here's another. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. The bed is not made. This looks like my home regularly. And not right now while recording, but I am a really, really messy person. You can see some jewelry, a pendant, some more, maybe a ruby, some coins. I would love to live like this. Maybe the owners are coming home now. So we're gonna go past this way. We're not gonna look here. Because we're heading to that part later. This is the... Where did that sign go? There. This is the barber. Where you can change your appearance. You can change your I think now you can also change the the gender of your character. I know they have removed specifically the word gender and male and female. Um, from in game, it's just called body type one and two now. And I don't know. I'm I'm not complaining. You know, if it makes people feel included, that's nice see some paintings and the one up here looks really spooky I've been trying to look at it for quite some time and it I I think it's following me with the eyes I don't know is it or am I making it up I actually think so but the barber design are these huge mirrors I think it called it's called the mirror of true self so you can change your appearance by looking into the big mirrors. This is a part of the obsidian enclave. Let's get out. That painting is, I don't know, making my screen, skin crawl. Here we can see a bit of the market, but we're coming past that soon. And if we go up the stairs. Oh, here's outside. You can see it so much. You can see some embassies yelling. Making some comments. Oh. Here is some engineering hut, I think. Look, they even put engineering goggles on the griffon. Making some machines with the tool. Rocket. Keep hammering and working on the engineering. Here's a miner's place, and here's a big. I don't know what these are called. Stove. Maybe not a stove, but for melting the ores. Here is some for blacksmithing, I think. And a big golem that you can train your mining on. There's also some more into the mining. Since there are the aspects of the earth, it's really fitting to have um, 
mining or some blacksmithing as a profession maybe here is some more weaponry for from blacksmithing I think and here is the gladiator's place I think maybe you will be able to buy PP gear from here or maybe just battling each other I am not gonna do that uh, on my priest I started leveling up a warrior finally so hopefully I can find some other players that would like to play some PvP with me that would be really nice so up here you can see the sapphire enclave that we've already been through and this was the smaller obsidian enclave so if we go up here, we will head to the seat of the aspects and maybe we should do that first, see what's here or maybe that's smarter to do lastly and we will now go downwards towards the artisans market and around, I think that will be smarter sometimes I just really have to look where I'm going so big I am getting lost here is the I am gonna sound really dumb right now but this has something to do with the new um, with the new profession revamp it's um, is it that you can place orders or look at placed orders and then craft material and sell it I have not been looking into professions, I usually don't do the professions, I only have herbalism and mining for gold farming and I even been thinking about unlearning that now because I can't bother, I don't have that much time any longer to play video games, even though I enjoy this expansion, here we can see some fabric, barrel, Oh, we can see a goblin with a little witch hat. That's really nice. With a nose in, with a nose and a bone. Maybe it's supposed to be a witch doctor. This looks like some carpets, jewels, a cracked jewel, and a wool pair up. I think it's nice how they have included almost every race walking around here now in this expansion. look it's that little place right here is some from jewel crafting trainer we have a lot of gems cracked broken gems here is some whole clone gems we have blue red green bronze and black gems here is for the prospecting part of the jewel crafting i think and you break down crystals, right? This city feels so alive. Here is a big roof covering you from rain, I think. Maybe it's just for the look of it. I don't know what that is. Here is maybe something for alchemy. See some high tech stand for brewing potions. Even more of them. And here's a maybe inscription. Mm. Place a table for inscription. I, I think from that animation, this will be the inscription place. Here is something for enchanting. I think this is where you come now to make it. I think you have to be. Or was it in, in Legion they made it that way that you have to stand by a soothing uh, place, you know, to make your potions and enchanting at that. You have to be at the um, enchanting table, for etc. Here's maybe for milling. Oh, maybe that was the first thing milling powders so you can make ink for inscription we're gonna go down towards the market 
place here we can see we went in there, the barber and we've been around this way and straight forward you can see all of the little tents have different NPCs maybe this is some skinning yeah you can look, there's a lot of hides and bones a carving knife some mats let's walk in this part whole hut was for skinning I think this is my favorite place here's just a cheese table you can see some floating cheeses a lot of different, there's some brie and this bronze dragon is actually named Gorgonzola for Gorgonzola cheese that's so cute I, I really love that we can you see a lot of NPCs enjoying enjoying different foods more of the steak, a lot of meat even though uh, it's just a video game but it looks so nice with all of the meat and here's a, some, a beer keg with some ale and here's a wine vendor this looks like the vine made in Suramar city might be that you can see some some of the Suramar elves so that might be it here's a Tuscar ice he's wearing the frozen ice clothing maybe that would be be too hot to wear in Valdraken but we can see a lot of fruit and there's a fish vendor oh, or she, it's a her female, sorry different part of fish but can we see here some, some crabs some smaller fish here is also some general trader maybe selling some general items here's a tailor you can see them spinning spinning thread and spinning fabric here's a lot of fabric enchanted thread a scissor it's really nice all of the details of this place I hope you have been enjoying it as much as I have leveling up your characters maybe if you have more time than I do you have already several level 70 characters I'm happy you just got one up this is uh, for enchanting I would assume that was the traders market I think we were done right? This is a path down, we can go on the back side Down and around to the cascade's edge You might do that Just need to see that I'm going the right way I think the best part about leveling was the place, the big town with all the centaurs I think I enjoyed that the most, it just brought back all of the classic vibes but the only th sad thing is that they revamped the, the lore for them, right? it's not any longer, you know, was it Scenarion that fell in love with the, the stone princess and just made some abominations that was some really good lore if you ask me just look at the size of this place oh it's so beautiful it's never ending I, I have I'm not gonna say I have high hopes for this expansion but I've been um, 
I've been surprised in a good way how much I enjoy it. Here's some lovely blood elves, some humans having a feast at this inn that serves a lot of food. Now we can start to see how they um, reuse the facets from cooking. Oh, here's a dragon cooking. That's really nice. I don't even mind them reusing the assets for the hubs. It's just so nice to actually see that it's not just um, a placeholder house or a house you can't enter. Here we can see maybe dragon, what is he doing? He's riding. And, uh, oh look, this is a floating granite, maybe testing some water breathing potions, someone that has taken a sleeping potion. Maybe some place where we drink some stuff you're not supposed to drink. Where are we now? The Cascades and Clave. No, I lied. We should not have gone up this way. I don't think we can get up. We have to go around. <gasps> These were the last huts on the back side of it. But I think that's alright. Still a beautiful city to watch and run around. I... When I got to questing in... In, uh, what is it even called now? Oh no, that's quite embarrassing. Let's look. There's your spam. It was not even that hard. But when you got from Onaran Plains to the Shur Span, I felt it was very empty. There's not a lot of hostile mobs. A lot of spaces are used. I don't even know how to describe it, but it feels a bit empty. We will go up this way. It, uh, some places there are some... Um, I was gonna say ice bears, not polar bears, but you know, bears covered in ice. And there are some worms, but not a lot of... other mobs so when I usually do a lot of herbalism in and gold farming in that region it feels empty it almost feels spooky here's the fishing trainer the Kalax the Tuscarans and this cute little duck Gonna see now we're on the right path. That would have been quite embarrassing to go wrong now. Here's some uh, pets, I think. Where is another room? Oh look! It's like a bunny, a dragon bunny maybe. Just look at the long tail and the long ears. Almost looks like some kind of Pokemon. This may be some accessories for pets. Yeah, some colors, some balls, toys, cages. It's really cute. Maybe I should look up what all the new pets are for this expansion. And we're going up. I think this is the part of the game I've been to the least. Here's another entrance, or maybe exit, yeah. If you follow this path, you will go out of the city. And we don't want to do that now. But we can see the big dragon statues. Looking really nice. And we will head this way. If we look here, we can see the big tower. Let's, let's just look up. And away from the plants, maybe. Here are the big towers I talked about. 
separating the different enclaves but you can't enter them it's just a tower with a plateau that you can stand up top but up here is the seat of the aspects that we're gonna go through last so now we're heading towards the emerald enclave with the green dragon flight the lore behind the green dragon flight is that they protect the emerald dream that we saw once in a raid in Legion, I think it was, with Savius. Here's another inn with a belt, Sona's house. We're used raiding some green dragons. This is maybe some kind of shrine. So I wonder if we're gonna see a lot of green dragon sleeping there was this little they all had their own like not huts or hubs but where they gathered all the different dragon flights can't remember the name of them but the green dragon flights place was really nice it had a pretty big library and with some sleeping dragons that was quite nice to look at Let's look at the map. Oh, we're gonna see this place first. What this is? I have no clue. There's nothing here, but it looks like it could be used for something. I think there's a lot of greenery. Oh, here's what I'm talking about. Some sleeping dragons. You can see a lot of life and flowers from the Emerald Dream. A dancing troll. Maybe this dragon lives here and we used entering without asking. I recently watched the cinematics also that Yusera is returning and trading places with Malfurion and I do not know what I think about that I would rather just let's just give them Tyrande it's just been too long with that character that is just really not that pleasant I think as a character oh so lovely here is also some kind of a hut here's a bed they didn't have a lot of stuff the green dragon flight I think it would have been a really good opportunity to maybe make some connections or hints towards the green dragon flight or the emerald dream I would say rather since it's been hinted that we will visit a bit more of the Emerald Dream. So I don't know why they didn't make a lot more hints towards that. Maybe some items or statues or something. Books. That would have been so nice. Some lore books from the Emerald Dream. Just talking vaguely about stuff. What the dream contains. But we can see these lovely trees. Is it Wisteria? Or is that just from that anime? The name? I don't know a lot about flowers or trees, so you can't blame me. But this was the Emerald Enclave, and I gotta say, there was not a lot in it. It's a beautiful place, but... Not a lot of dragons. This might... Yes, look, here's the Etherals. The Darde Transmuggers. These are some of my favorite races in the World of Warcraft and I really wish they would make them playable. They are so nice and so uh, spooky in some way. I love them already when they added them in the Burning Crusade way, 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 way back in a the time. They 
have some locked up energy it's nice i think almost you have to walk around like this to find every spot in the in this capital it's just so big and now we're entering the bronze enclave and the bronze dragonflight are in charge of time magic at the time here's the new place where you can make the spark of ingenuity if that's how you say it i guess that's for making gear for raining and all of that but I'm not really into that. I'm not gonna raid, hopefully. I will be able in this expansion to play some PvP since I like that a lot, but right now I do not have the energy even to, to level any character or play casually. This is just some big cut from the bronze dragon. green dragons and here you can see a big hourglass with some sparks that is really nice this is an inn here you can see the innkeeper a blood elf um, now now i'm having such a i i can't remember the name for it but is this big open space that with libraries and that makes me think of that faction that they removed from the insane title the achievement insane insane in the membrane where you would have to get ex exhorted with one of the or not one but a lot of the classic reputations but what was that called i have to look let's look at my reputation If it's gone, the Chandralar uh, from way back from classic when you would have to collect different items and bloods and all of that to turn in to get reputation. I, I miss that faction, and that place was very nostalgic. So I don't know why, but it reminds me a bit of Chandralar. Chandralar, Chandralar. some more hourglasses and sand, sands of time a water pipe there's not a lot of bronze dragons either here's just another inn and here's someone actually oh no I think the dragonflight I've been enjoying the most questing with Either has to be the emerald dragonflight or the uh, bronze dragonflight. If I would have to choose, I think the time magic is the coolest one. But I also enjoy the azure dragonflight or the blue dragonflight. So now we have seen the bronze enclave. It was very small. So we would have to venture back all the way now and we can get into this spot right in front of the seat of the aspects and then I think we might be done after looking at all the things it's been a lot you can see the big walls the towers use the levels of this place it's huge feel like I've been repeating myself a lot in this video, but hey, that happens. I hope all of you have been doing fine and have been staying healthy and happy. I've been a bit ill again as usual, but um, this thing with my eye has been bothering me uh, just for the fact that I am really I, I I think it's my own fault that what I'm trying to say I think I've been using old makeup and that's why it happened and it's <laughs> triggering me a lot but hey 
you gotta learn sometime even if you're old here we can see we're at the seat outside you can see the beautiful windows on the towers here is the bank such a cool place you can see a lot of gold and treasures I love the classical um, idea of dragons watching over treasure here we can see the banker and the little banker duckling the helper with all the walls it's a really nice place And let's skip here we can see most of the players here are some portals we're not gonna click on those big fountain and here we can see here's the to take the flight path we're just gonna venture back I think the only thing they could have done they really missed the opportunity to make a big dragon statue like spitting out the water from its mouth but hey, you know I'm not a designer I could have not pulled that off either this is probably the auction house I think yeah, there's a lot of players a lot of items I have missed that they actually had an auction house here if it is that, I just been sending all the items over to my um, character. Yeah, it was the auction house that I use for selling and trading on the auction house since I can't be bothered. Here's the last hut. What's this? Oh, here's the cooking trainer. It's just an inn with a bar. Or tenders or cakes of ale. Here's the cooking trainer. A cute panda. I love pandas. Um, but now we're gonna go into the big, beautiful place, the seat of the aspects. So the entrance is up by these big steps. When you get in, it's just a magical place. Just look at that. I think Blizzard has done a really good job with just the places in this expansion. The scenery. Here is a portal to Stormwind and a portal to Ogrimmar. But it's quite empty otherwise. You can see the banners of the different dragonflies else to see and when you walk up here is the portal to the top that we're gonna take but I'm just gonna show you it actually almost looks like a church it's high in the roof really high and it just has some benches up here someone's sleeping but we're gonna take the portal to the top Here's the portal back, and here we can see the aspects, the remaining three aspects. There used to be five, but we're gonna look. Here is the Dragon Queen, Alexstrasza, the Life Binder. They really did her good with the character model. We have the leader of the Blue Dragonfly, the Caligos his icy jaw and spikes and here we have the leader of the bronze dragonfly Nostormo they look so big so different from each other but it used to be also Neltharion of the black dragonfly before he turned into deathwing and we have used to have Gisera from the green dragonfly but she died in the Shadowlands. 
was not in a Shadowland, she died. I lied. Didn't she die the way back in Legion when we were supposed to enter the Emerald Dragonfly? No, no I'm not even know what I'm talking about. When we entered the Emerald Dream and she got corrupted and died and then we met her in Shadowlands and now she's coming back from Shadowlands there I said something right in this video at least but here we can just look down you can see how big it is all of it and we're on top of this wonderful building really high up I really wanted to thank you if you have watched this far or even if you have watched a little bit and don't know what I'm talking about right now I'm really happy for all of the support thank you guys I know I've been getting a lot of wishes to make more of Warcraft content instead of Swedish content but I thought I will make both whenever I have time it's better to upload something right than nothing Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed. Bye.